Okay guys, it's the 6th of May. We're going to look at the FTSE 100 and Euro USD. Now just before we get started quickly, um, I haven't had time to do the US market breaks down, breakdowns yesterday. Um, unfortunately, I've been in and out of the vets all weekend with my dog. Um, and then today, I'm actually heading off to a wedding in about an hour. So I just don't have time to put that video together. Uh, but we're going to do the FTSE, we're going to do the Euro USD. We'll have a quick recap of the markets in relation to our Sunday analysis from last week. Um, and then we'll look at both of these markets in terms of day trading for the week ahead. So we're on FTSE 100. Um, not really changed anything, I've just extended the sloping resistance level. Um, and what we were looking at coming into last week were these zones up here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, we had 1, 2 and 3 at 7, 6, 45, 7, 6 or 7, 7, 5, 88 down to around about 7, 5, 66 and 7, 5, 60 down to 7, 5, 30. And what we went over um, was how this whole area was good to look for potential resistance. I wasn't really too keen to buy into these levels because they were so close together. Um, and then also we were looking at our potential trend channel. So the market last week, I was just pretty much looking for the rejection 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 any rejections coming into the market and then on friday it was non-farm payroll so non-farm payroll very often it can give strong direction to the markets i actually don't trade non-farm payroll uh release there just sort of stay out of the markets and wait for you know, everything to settle back down again uh, we have a bank holiday on monday so back on tuesday this week really Looking at it, the zones, the key zones, let me get rid of this, are pretty much the same. So we've got one, two, and three up here. They remain strong levels of resistance. So one here. We've got one here where we rejected from on the Wednesday. And then we've got one just down below where we've seen the rejection coming in on the Thursday. Yeah, key resistance at all of these zones, um, especially if it's lining up with, again, that sloping resistance level. I looked at it potentially as getting a little bit tighter um, on this also. Because we're, tr because we're trading on lower time frames and using the higher time frames for the analysis, I don't pay too much attention to the exact level of the sloping support and resistance. I'll use it as an added confluence for potential trades, um, but I'm not going to look for... Um, let's say a buy from if we break up above on the five minute and test it. I'm not going to look at that as, okay, that's a um, guaranteed bullish bounce. I'm just going to add it in as a confluence. But basically, we've got sloping resistance up here. We're still testing at those levels. Uh, what we have had is rejection, pressed up, rejection again, then rejection again. So likely, there were stops sitting above these levels. Um, so this bullish run-up um, can potentially be a strong move on the back of non-farm payroll to do what? To clear out stops. We still have key resistance up above. I'm more than happy to look for rejection up at this zone. Now down below, really, again, we're using the sloping support. But what we're going to do is add in a level of support at 7500, so the round number, down toward 7480. Right here. Let's extend this up. This could make it a little bit tighter, actually. The reason we're making it tighter is because the spikes down one and two, you can see they are following um, a type of trend, trend line on the way up. So really, next week, let me get rid of this line to make it a little bit easier to see. Still testing up at key resistance. Really, it's if we start breaking above this upper band at six, seven, six, forty-five. I'd be happy to look for stronger bounces um, up toward these levels right here. At present, I'm still looking at it as resistance, resistance, resistance. Up above this one, um, 7.588, potentially for the bullish bounces higher also. So breaking above resistance, testing a support for the bounce. Down below, it's going to depend on the day. I'm really watching at the potential sloping support level. I'm also watching at this level here. This is very key. We're going over this last week uh, with subscribers. We've had multiple tests here now. Breaks down below here are very likely going to open up um, the... The correction the bearish correction i would expect us to see 7448 to 7423 tested which again would become strong support but at present the market is still holding in this channel it's very very steep similar to this one we went over 
very steep move up when it breaks it's very likely going to do the same thing no, I'm not saying it's going to be this exact move but it's very likely going to be a strong move down yeah the market is dragging itself up an incredibly steep trend line with very very little pullback apart from this one right here which just had a very minor pullback very minor pullback and we're continuing so I'm really on alert for the breaks if we see the breaks you know of key levels so one here really also at 7530 I'd be happy to start looking for the sells just being a little bit careful of that sloping support down below 7500 breaks down below there I'd be happy to look for the sells the moves down to the key support down here 7448 to 7423 again breaks below looking for the stronger moves back down toward 7372 okay guys that's everything for euro usd let's move uh, sorry <laughs> that's everything for the FTSE 100 let's move on to the euro usd okay guys for euro usd uh, we've still got everything on the chart from last week what we were looking at was this zone as our very key support level right here um, breaks down below it we were saying basically it's going to open up or potentially open up a much stronger correction um, so coming into the start of the week sunday candle monday candle what are we doing straight down yeah breaking down below the zones we're looking for the potential rejection and the further moves down rejection and the further moves down we came down to one of our very key levels down here we went over how um, likely we would see this level tested and potentially this area down below nice bounce from this level um, on Friday now on Friday this is probably helped along the way by non-farm payroll um, but we're just basically looking for after we broke down below here potential breaks down below the levels um, potential support also for bounces but we were expecting the move back down toward our key levels so coming into euro usd next week what are we now looking at well the market has made a fairly significant drop um, as we were looking at the potential descending triangle up here we broke up above a false break we've came back down slammed through the key support and we've had that strong wave down so now that we've seen that move um, well first of all euro usd is giving us bearish signals however because we've had the strong move down in terms of day trading next week a little bit more neutral uh, waiting to see how the market is going to now react because we made the big move we were looking for um our zones yeah pretty happy with where the zones are sitting maybe down here we're just going to adjust these two what i'm going to do actually is just delete them and we'll have a look at the levels okay so first thing is if we see pullbacks now toward these zones up here they remain key resistance because we're testing back up toward this whole level of structure now that we've just broken down below so lots of buyers and sellers were fighting over the market up here if we see the return it's very likely we'll see um, sellers stepping back in once again looking to drive the market back down this level here at seven uh, sorry one point 2095 to 1.205 it's lining up with the previous swing so first thing is on the way back up it's worthwhile looking for potential resistance yeah the market is looking bearish and um, i'd say this is not an overly major level of support and resistance but because we've had such a strong wave down yeah good to look for potential resistance if we're breaking up above also potential support i'd be a little bit careful of where the market just gave us a little bit of a pause before we dropped off you could put in a level of resistance there it's a little bit minor for me one and two right here because we've only really got two candles this is a sunday candle but yeah if it's lining up with the sloping resistance certainly uh, worthwhile looking for the potential rejection and the move uh, down once again now down below there again we're back into this whole level of structure and what we're really looking at is the key level for me is where the market is testing as resistance breaking up and coming back down and testing as support now the low from friday is all the way down at 119.10 so we want to incorporate that first of all because we can see the buyers have stepped in in a fairly strong way now it's really all the way up to 119.60 it's taking into account the uh, market coming up rejecting breaking up coming back down and testing as support 
up above there, especially now because we've broken down, we've also got a level at 120.25, down toward really these lows at 119.99. Um, right here where the market has paused here basically and as we can see as we came down we've tested at this level a couple of times so again good potential resistance up above there also uh, worthwhile looking for potential bullish bounces and up toward that zone up above very key support is this level um, down below there let's do another do another one zone Let's say 118 um, 88 so we're on about 11890 basically looking as the market has been pressing up where have the sellers came in where have the buyers started to come in sellers as we come across sellers sellers before we break up it's giving us the clue that it's an area of the market um, where the buyers and the sellers are starting to battle out to regain control of the market so on the way down, it's very likely, again, uh, we will see buyers and sellers trying to enter the market. Uh, it's a little bit of a big zone, to be honest. What I'm going to do is create it into two. So down to 1.1850. Um, again, good level of potential support on the way down. And then down below there, it's going to be relatively close because really it's, I'm looking at it as almost one zone, 118.37. Uh, Let's keep this one up toward 118, um, right about 118.10, right here. So you can see the market testing up at this level. I have to bring it down ever so slightly. I do want to incorporate those spikes really here. Um, one eight, really one eighteen zero zero. What I would say is, on the way down, they're worthwhile looking for potential bullish bounces. Um, if we start breaking down below, really this one here, they've got a key one down below, but below there, this one, and then I would say really the main support is as we get all the way back down here. So for Euro USD next week, uh, we've got a key buy zone still. It's where we found support already. Um, and on the way up, resistance. Yeah, looking for resistance on this market. I've just broken down below very, very key structure levels. Um, it's worthwhile looking for the weakness. Also, potential bullish bounces from this zone and this zone. Up above there, really, it's just resistance for me. Um, down below, got a key support level sitting at this zone. I've got one just down below there. I'm saying it's not quite as key. Um, and then down below there, it's, you know, it's next very key support is all the way down at... 117.40. Okay, so a little bit more neutral on Euro USD. We've had the strong breakdown. The market is uh, giving us bearish signs. However, there's the potential now for a retracement before we see the sellers stepping back in. So, really, the zones up above, selling and buying, until we get into these levels up here, which would then become key resistance um, on this market. We've still got nice support down below. Okay, guys, that's everything for this week. As always, I hope that was helpful. Hope you're all having a good long weekend if you get the long weekend i'm james or and thank you